All right, hello everybody, it's me, Clock, and we are playing Holiday Shopping, a arcade kitten game, visual novel, which, by the way, may, it will contain spoilers for Cemetery Mary's true ending. So, if you want to make sure you don't get spoiled for Cemetery Mary, make sure you go check out my video on that, okay? And with that, let's start. Warning! This game contains depictions of the following. Guns, blood, potential murder, strong language. Discretion is advised. And that's enough. Don't even try anything. Don't make this harder than it has to be. No, no, please! P please, please, you don't understand! I only joined this business because I was desperate. You you have to understand that, don't you? I'm so happy to see Avidius chat. Break? Fourth wall break? Avidius! Okay. Please, I... I got a wife, you know? A and... And a kid, too. A and we live in a trailer park. And, and we've got a dog. And a bunny. And... And my, my bunny's got kids, and a daughter, she's only five, you know? And I told her I'd come home tonight, this very night. She'll be six in the spring. I, please, I, I can't leave her fatherless right before the holidays. I can't just leave my wife wondering what happened to me. Avidius, I'll send her a letter. L look, I was desperate, right? But, but not anymore. Uh, I've got money saved. I swear. I swear. Swear. I swear. If you let me live, I'll leave. Promise, I'll leave. I'll leave this line of business and never come back. My family and I. I'll take them to the new city. Find a new job. Never touch any of this stuff again. Won't even come close to here. We'll just be far away and I'll have a normal job. And we could stay a happy family. A normal, happy family. Please, please, man. Please let me live. I'm so happy. I don't even care that he's murdering this person. I'm just happy. What are you doing, Ovidius? You know that he's lying to you. You you know that he is. Wait, wait is this Ovidius just thinking to himself? Oh, whoops. You've seen them do it all the time. It's the same excuse, time and time again. Always promising to change. Promising. Promising. The same damn shit. But, he... Stop it. Boss needed this job done. He's relying on you. And... You know what it feels like to let him down. I... I can't disappoint him. <laughs> Throw him in the East River, boys. <laughs> oh no. Five is a young age to lose a parent. He's a gooner. <laughs> when the goons show up to the wrong house. I hired goons, not gooners. No, no, damn it. Avidius, where's your head at? Enough of this. You know what you have to do. Just do it. Oh, I, I guess we're already presented with a choice. Well, shoot him. You got it, boss. Shoot. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You understand why I had to do it. Why I had to do it to him. I'm sure of it. <laughs> you know... It's been a while since I ever felt anything from this job. Usually just, it is what it is. But tonight, I do feel something. A very harsh feeling in my chest. If I didn't know any better, I'd call it regret. My phone. Ah! The flashbang! It's boss. It's boss. It's boss. The boss. Avidius. Weren't, you, weren't expecting you to pick up if I'm honest. 
Does that mean you're done? How did things go? I got the job done. Ah, of course. I knew you would. That a boy. I can always count on you, huh? That's right. That's all we need you for tonight, so you can head home. Rest up well. <laughs> wow, boss is so casual and nice. Yes. Yes, of course. I will. Thank you again, Avidius. I'll make sure this job doesn't go unrewarded. Extra pets tonight. Of course. There's no one else I'd rather do it for. Da 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 da. <gasps> I love Avidius. <laughs> Just turn that down just, just a little bit. I feel like it's a little loud, right, chat? You, you just got assaulted your ears a little bit? Good. Home, sweet home. Or, uh, apartment, sweet apartment, I guess. One of the few places I don't have to worry about running into anyone in the parliament. It's always been safe around these parts. I'm so happy when people like him. How could I not like the firefighter, okay? This man's my hero, okay? My favorite line in this whole series. Not all firemen are good people. <laughs> there's, security, there's security cameras around and in the entire building. With so many people living right beside me, it's less likely I'll be targeted here. Right? I mean, I've been safe so far. I'm keck Wing at Geb because I don't think he saw the true ending of Cemetery Mary. <laughs> So I've got to be doing something right. Say, what time is it anyway? Let me check my phone. 4 a.m. already? I mean, should I really be surprised anymore? It's always late nights with this job. I just couldn't get a normal 9 to 5, huh? That's what it means to be a firefighter. What do I do now? You can now look around the apartment using your arrow keys or mouse. Wait, seriously? That was not... Why did I do that? Okay, arrow keys. I'll just use the mouse. Okay, dog food? Oh no, that's a pamphlet. Okay, this pamphlet. I've had it for a while now, haven't I? A pup for every person. Stop it, Avidius. You know you can't get a dog. Man, even John Wick had a dog. And in this line of work? Get real. Not to mention, I don't even know if we're allowed pets in here. A dog wouldn't be happy here in the first place. Hey, you could get a chihuahua. There's nowhere to run or play, and the nearest park is a drive away. I should just throw out this stupid thing already. No, this hope. <sighs> tomorrow. I'll throw it out tomorrow morning. Ovidius. He just wants a dog. I haven't actually watched TV in a while, huh? Is there anything on? Never is. News replay? Cartoons? Food competition? Horror movie? Eh. None of it feels interesting enough to sit down and watch right now. My Japanese cartoons aren't playing. <laughs> Maybe I'll check back in the morning. Damn. Missed my Japanese cartoons, chat. What's in the kitchen? The kitchen. I should make myself some dinner, right? I should, but... I don't know. I'm just not really hungry right now. Damn. Okay, door. The bathroom. Yeah, I definitely need a shower after tonight. Okay, thank god he took a shower at least. That's better. I think. <laughs> Poor guy. Should I just go to bed? I don't think there's anything else we could do, so yeah, go to bed. Gonna go watch YouTube. Have a good one, dude. Peace. And another day is done. I did the right thing, right? I had to have. I just don't understand. After so many years of this, why does this time seem so hard to handle? Maybe it's just the season that's getting to me. 
killing someone right before. Yeah. Just the season. It's snowing an awful lot. It's good I got home when I did, I suppose. I wonder how much snow there'll be to clean up tomorrow. Heh. <laughs> I remember when Mama used to make me shovel the snow. She would trick me into doing it, if you could call it tricking. There's an awful lot of snow in this driveway, you know. I bet if you were to shovel it all up, you'd have enough snow to make the biggest snowman in the world. <laughs> no, I always did try to. I was always so convinced I'd make the biggest snowman the world has ever seen. But it always start to melt before I was even finished with it. Damn. Mom would always decorate for the holidays, too. No matter if she was sick, or busy, or handling it all by herself. She always made sure we had nice decorations. Holy shit. Wait, that's like my life. <laughs> yeah, my mom would always make sure we had, like, fucking stupid-ass Christmas decorations. Oh my god, we were, like, so poor, and my mom would still bust out the Christmas decorations, the Halloween decorations, the spring... Not just Easter decorations. She had decorations for spring and autumn that weren't holiday-related for before and after the holiday. Oh my god, man. Shaking my head. <laughs> the lights were always my favorite. She always used to buy the big, chunky, colorful lights. I think she thought the, colors, the colorless ones were too boring. And Mama always was a really colorful woman. Oh my god, this is my mom. Wait, is, am I just... My mom's the type of lady to wear, like, neon pink outside. Neon green outside. Looks, looks we're all, one color. all one color, yeah. She'll have a whole fit in neon green, if she can. She does, she has it. <laughs> Maybe I should buy some. I can do that, right? What am I saying? Of course I can do that. It's my apartment. It's not like it's going to bother anyone else. Besides... I've seen some of my neighbors put up little decorations. Why can't I do the same? Holidays are for families. I was going to say, all the decorations of the world didn't matter, chat. As long as it was just me and my mom, I was happy. <laughs> my sister could be there, but she left for a little bit. And so did my dad. <laughs> and I think it will be a nice piece of family to have around. Ooh. <sighs> Yeah. It'll be nice. Uh. Uh. Huh? My... My phone. It's just my phone. Jeez, what time is it? Four o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I guess I did have a long night. Oh, my phone. Right. It's... The boss's son? What, what does he want? About time you picked up. I... Apologies. Apologies. Oh, there's a bot in chat? Banned! Get out of here! Sorry, I had to ban the bot chat. Is everything alright? I need you to come to Pinecrest Mall. It's... Important. Important? Yeah, and I need you to look as inconspicuous as possible. Dubois' his son. <laughs> what? Why? What's happening there? I can't tell you now. It might ruin everything. Ruin everything? Jeez, are you just gonna repeat everything I say? Just get here quickly. As quickly as you can. See you soon. Wait, what? Croven, what's happening there? Hello? Croven? He hung up. But Croven, he never calls me. So, it must be a really important mission he needs done. In that case, I'll have to get dressed as quickly as possible. <laughs> I love Croven, and I love Avidius. Yeah! Let's go! Casual Avidius! Sorry, I, I might be fanboying. I might be... I might be Ovidius's biggest fan, okay? I'll, I might love this man. Nice scarf. <laughs> it's already dark outside. I hope I'm not too late. This. This is where you said to meet him, right? 
Uh, I'm not quite used to being out like this anymore. Uh. Ah, oh, wait. There he is. He's all by himself. Wait, I love... This fit is also amazing, too, on Krovin. The hoodie with the stitched heart? That's great. Casual... Casual Krovin! Even though he's usually ca casual. What's our business here, anyways? I guess I'm about to find out. Krovin? Ugh, about time he showed up. Damn, I told you to dress inconspicuously. Not like you're ready to go fucking mountain climbing. W what? No one's paid attention to me since I got in here. What are you even... And what's up with your hair? <laughs> Looks stupid. Can you tell me- can you just tell me what you needed me here for? You did say it's important, didn't you? Yeah, it's important. What- what is it then? I'm buying a bunch of gifts tonight. I need help carrying them. <laughs> Aye. Pardon? Yeah, I know it's kind of late to be doing so, but better late than never, right? You called me out here... ...to go holiday shopping, like the title suggested? Uh, duh, yeah. I got a lot of people to buy for. Dad, Mom, Mary, Aunt, Uncle, Theo, Zap. And you couldn't have asked someone else to help you? Uh, are you stupid? Of course I can't. That'd ruin the surprise of what their gifts are, yeah? Is the game gonna end in a second? Why not just order it online, then? Because I told you, I'm late. Anything I order now will never get here on time, even with the fastest shipping. I... I can't believe this right now. Here I thought it was actually important. Hell, I even thought you might be in trouble. Hey, can you calm the fuck down? And did you forget who you're talking to? You know I'm Dad's son, don't you? Nah, my boy Krovin? Don't tell me he's a little bit of a daddy's boy. Oh my god. Pulling the daddy card. I would have expected better from you, Krovin. This is why we like Avidius more. Sorry to say. I like Krovin still, but... You're never beating Avidius. Yes, of course I know that. Yeah, I thought so. But you were talking like you forgot. I didn't forget. So, we're really doing this? Yeah, but don't worry. I intend on paying you for your work tonight. Oh? Yeah. When we pass by the mall Santa on the way out, I'll let you take a picture with him. Can I sit on his lap? Do I get a, a cookies and milk with that? Great. Just what I wanted. To get sexually harassed by a mall Santa. Not again. <laughs> oh no. Is he done shopping yet? He told me just to wait by the register, but... I feel like it'd get done quicker if he just let me help him. That's why he called me in the first place, right? This is really my life, huh? Could be worse. Well, for now I'm just waiting. Hello? Hello? Hey, sir? Wait, someone's calling to me? What could they? <gasps> that, that girl. I know who she is. Hey, girl. She, she's a member of the parliament. Twyla. What's someone like her doing here? Hey, Twy, hey, girl. <laughs> and even worse. She's coming right towards me. Hey, sir. <laughs> me, whenever there's a woman nearby. <laughs> this is the exact face and sweat I start acting like when I see a woman. <laughs> I'm afraid. You're pretty tall, right? I'm having trouble getting something off a shelf over there. Does she not recognize me? You don't mind helping me, do you? Uh, oh, uh... No, I guess not. 
Thank you. Please follow me. Anyone who hasn't watched the trending, no idea what's happening. All the trending watchers, we all know what's up. Why didn't she just fly? Why didn't she just start flapping her wings? It's right over here. Can you reach? You can reach that, right? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. She could just re it flew up and then bite, bite down on the box. There you go. Thank you. That that wasn't too bad at all. Thank God. Thought I was about to have a real problem on my hands. All I have to do now is get back before Krogan realizes I'm missing. Excuse me? You two? A mall cop? What the hell does she want? Is there a problem here, ma'am? Yeah, there is. The other day, two bandits came and stole something from the store. Two bandits who look suspiciously like you both. You're accusing us? I mean, if you're innocent, you won't mind coming with me to the security office, right? I definitely mind. If I'm around Twyla any longer, she might catch on to me. Not to mention, please tell me he doesn't he didn't bring a gun to a mall, right? If this lady really does think we did it and calls the police or something, then Fuck! What am I supposed to do? We don't mind. Don't just answer for me. Thank you. Come with me. Fuck! Poor Avidius. You know, I believe in Avidius. I believe. This man has done greater deeds. This is the most resourceful man in all of Cemetery Mary, okay? <laughs> now it's really me around women. <laughs> Shaking in his boots because of two women. It's just... Twyla and I are in here right now. At least she seems so calm about this. Isn't she in the same boat as I am right now? I can't get involved with the police. No way! If those thieves that we're talking about stole something expensive, then they're definitely going to phone the police about it. Hell, she might already be doing so right now. I can't get interrogated. Have all my stuff looked through. What if they get a hold of the boss? Okay, okay. Calm down, Avidius. You're, you're good at what you do. He's good at what he does. And you've never been caught before, right? Well, I mean, technically you just got caught. You're just in an unlucky spot right now. But it doesn't mean anything. You're going to be fine. Now, when that security guard gets back... They can't get a hold of the boss. Here's what you're going to do. Oh, oh, we get to choose? So excuse yourself to the bathroom. Get an emergency phone call. You're late for work. This is a reasonable one. We're late for work. We'll try them all out, but let's say we're late for work. We're late o'clock. Oh my god, guys! It's a clock reference! Let's go! We made it. We've done it, finally. As soon as she comes in, look at the clock on the wall and exclaim that you're late for work. You're at risk of being fired if you're late one more time. Stutter an apology and get out of there. Maybe even toss some money as you leave, like an apology. No, that's an admission of guilt. Don't do that. Would that make me look more guilty? Don't overthink it. Just get out of there. But once you're out of there, you'll probably still look suspicious. Hell, what if she calls others on you? No, that's fine if she does, because I can still evade that situation. All I have to do is sneak out the mall. And I could easily do that by... Oh my, oh my god, it keeps... Oh my god, okay, hiding in the decorations, getting a new disguise, using the train. There's a train in this mall? That's amazing. Okay, hiding in the decorations, yes. Yes, I see it now. Yes, in the Christmas tree. There's plenty of big decorations around this place. Big enough to hide behind, or even in if I need to. I'll hide from one dec decoration to another until I can get to a proper exit. But... Just making it out the doors isn't enough either. I have to actually get away from the mall. If they're suspicious of me, there's no doubt they might follow me. If that happens, I'll have to get them off my tail. But that's the easiest part of this whole plan. All I need to do is... Oh my- Oh my lord! There's more! More choices! Okay. Okay, take a detour. Leave the car. Leave the car. Leave the car behind. 
Best ending? I'll leave the car and walk home. Oh my god. Best ending? This is amazing. I'll pick it up again in the morning, assuming they don't tow it. Even if they do, I can call on one of our members to go pick it up. How did we get a cat? And, while well, I'm walking home anyways. This is amazing, by the way. I would buy... Was this a cat or a dog? I do know of a cat cafe that stays open pretty late. Yeah! Let's go! This is the... This is the run! I, I perfect routed it, boys. It's the perfect run. I can stop in for a bit. Coffee might help keep me a bit warmer if I'm going to be walking home in the cold after all. And then, after that... All I have to do is get home and I'll be safe. But what about the boss's son? Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. That's gonna work. Of course, I'll have to call up Croven and explain what happened. And, uh, that's sure to be awful. That's sure to be an earful. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Sorry, I had to check in with someone before I could talk to you both. Excuse me. Please, show us the security tape. Excuse me, that's- I wasn't asking permission. Show us the videotape. I was about to go through with my plan, but... No! No! Cat Cafe! What do you mean? Her voice is so demanding. She wasn't even talking to me, and yet, I feel like I wasn't listening well enough. Of course you can see, I have the tape right here. It's starting to play. I'm gonna cry if we don't hit up a Cat Cafe chat. This video... This video isn't. You have got to be joking. Really, this is a joke, right? Because there's no way you can be serious. What do you mean? The footage clearly shows... The footage you shows... The footage shows you don't know how to do your job. First of all, the height gap between the woman and the man in this video is nowhere near as big as the gap between this guy and I. Secondly, this woman is reaching the top shelf with no problem, and she isn't wearing any sort of heel or platform. Unlike me, who had to ask this man for help. And you know that because you stopped us in the middle of him helping me. Well, you see, and please, you can't tell me you didn't see that the guy in this video doesn't have the same nose shape, and this woman's eyebrows aren't even close to looking like mine. Damn. Damn. Twilight coming in handy for once. So, what's the big idea, huh? Racism. Are you just bored, or have a quota to fill? Y yeah Trying to get us in trouble before the hol- right before the holidays. What are you trying to do? Ruin the holidays for everyone? Is that your goal? Yeah, gang up on the security lady. <laughs> she actually just erm actually. I, uh, uh, I have to go fetch my superior. Okay, we can leave now. Huh? I, s I said we can leave, but isn't that woman going to come back? I'm not worried about it. After all, we didn't do it. I'm sure this will blow over. It's just a couple of petty mall thieves. Big whoop. Though, I'd still stay away from this place for at least a few days. Just to be safe. Come on, let's get out of here. I know where the nearest exit is. She's been here a few times. It was her, by the way. It was just her in a trench coat. She was on the bottom of the trench coat. And here we are. Mary was on the top. Oh. Uh, what you did back there was pretty impressive. You were entirely cool the entire time. And you were able to defuse the situation quickly. Well, on our side at least. I'm, I mean, of course I did. I knew I didn't do anything wrong. So I had no reason to feel guilty. Wouldn't you feel the same? Ovidious. So... You do recognize me. Well, I admit I didn't know at first. But, well, when I started talking to you and you looked so nervous, let's just say I asked you to come help me for a reason. And then it was obvious to me who you were. So, are you the only one here? What do you want? Relax, I'm not going to do anything. I mean, after that debacle, you already know this place is crawling with security cameras. Besides, it's not like I planned on meeting you here. It's just a happy coincidence, that's all. But now that I do have you here, I feel it opt to ask. I'm a certain little birdie in my family. And what makes you think I had anything to do with them? Well, last night, my uncle and I were waiting for someone, and they never ended up showing up. We wondered if something happened to them. And something definitely did. 
Are you saying that wasn't your doing? Damn. Well? You won't answer? I see. That's all the answer she needs. I'll take it that that means it's just as I thought. Then in that case, I feel compelled to tell you that my family does not take kindly to getting messed with. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course you know that. You just don't care. No, it's... No, I completely understand. That's how it is in this business. That's what you want to say, right? But if you didn't want to do it, then tell me. Why are you even here? Right. Oh, would you look at the time? So late. I really must be going. Ah, but before I do, as a message from my family to yours, I assure you, we'll pay you back for what you did. Well, happy holidays to you too, I guess. <laughs> He's just like, ah, well, this is better than most exchanges I've had with the Parliament. Though, I guess I should take a sigh of relief. Happy holidays. That could have been bad. I'll have to get better at my hiding myself and uh, looking less guilty, I guess. I'd like to think I'm normally pretty good at it, but she caught me off guard. This is so weird, chat, that we just played two holiday games right on the on the guys. This uh for YouTube, by the way, this was recorded on um the day before Christmas. Actually, crazy, I know. And uh, when we played Trick and Treats, that was also recorded uh on Halloween. Crazy. Uh, I'm gonna be really late on these uploads though. Ugh. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Chrysler. She caught me off guard. Twyla. Next time, Twyla. I definitely won't get caught. Oh my god, and we didn't. Oh, just my phone. It's Croven. Whoa. Dude, where the fuck are you? Uh, outside. Huh? Why the fuck are you out there? Uh, it's a long story. I might need you to meet me out here. Ugh, seriously? I called you to help me, not make shit harder on me. I know. I apologize. Fine, fine, whatever. I'll be out there soon. Some help you were. Uh, by the way. What? I'm so sorry to ask. I know it isn't right of me to, but... If you're gonna say something, then say it. Spit it out already. While you're in there... Could you pick up an extra item for me? Really? After you left me in here to carry all this shit myself? It's just one thing. Fine. But only because my dad thinks you're chill or whatever. Thank you, Croven. That's very kind of you. Whatever, whatever. What is it? A lot of dot dot dots. Okay, okay, just a little more, and... There. Heh. <laughs> they look perfect. And I think Mama would think so, too. Big smiley face. Thank you for playing. Happy holidays. The end. Okay, that put a big smile on my face. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that was really cute. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll play some of those, uh, we'll play out some of those choices again. See what happens. I like this one. <laughs> it I might be biased, you know. I might be biased. Biggest Ovidius fan possible. Let's let's do not shoot him. Okay. Fuck. Listen up. Because I'm not fucking letting my guard down. Stand up. Run towards that exit door. And never, ever come back. Stop calling stop calling him Navidia chat. His name's Ovidius. Ovidius. <laughs> you def get some new apartment and ending dialogue. We get a new apartment? That's crazy. Wow, that's so cool. I can't wait to see the new apartment. I will never stop saying it. Novidia, Kerm. Make me. Because if I wind up in trouble and find out that you ratted me out, I won't let you go a second time. Because I promise you... I'm real good at what I do.
There he goes. Uh, let's just hope I don't regret it. Okay, we're gonna skip a little bit though, chat. I'm sorry, boss. I can't lie to you. He got away. Damn it. Really? I'm so sorry. I'll make it up to you. Yeah, he was a flapper. Boss? B -b boss Sorry, I was just thinking. I mean it. I'll make it up to you, boss. No, no. I respect your effort. This rarely happens, after all. You can just head home, for now. We'll figure this out later. If there's anyone else I can trust with this sort of stuff, it's you, after all. Of course, boss. There's no one else I'd rather do it for. I'm not gonna lie, Chad. I'm, I'm kind of sad about that one. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'll just click through all the dialogue. Yeah, I should probably eat dinner, huh? I think it's a bit late to make anything too big, though. Hmm. Well, as long as I have bread, I can make some kind of sandwich. Based? Wait a second. What will be gone? Let's see. Wait. Nice. Based. Don't kill someone, you get a sandwich. Already, this ending is better. Well, it wasn't the most filling, but it gets the job done. Wow. You could call that a real nothing sandwich. I'll, I'll, it'll at least hold me over until morning. Yeah. Yeah, I have to use the bathroom. No, I'm alright. Probably take a shower in the morning, though. Ugh. Avidius. I'm just feeling a bit too lazy to take one right now. Avidius. Avidius. Come on, man. You gotta take a shower before bed, man. You're, you're bringing those outside germs into your bed. Nah. Avidius. Not based. Should I just go to bed? Yeah, in your jeans, too. In your dress pants. Go to bed. That's the only way to redeem yourself. Wait, no. Skip. I did the right thing. Granted, that is if it doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Still, assuming... I mean, I think he's wearing dress pants, but we're gonna say he's wearing jeans. And we're gonna say he's gonna sleep in them. Based. Family should be together during the holidays. Yeah, they should. It's snowing an awful lot. Skip. Oh! That was a big skip, chat. That was a big skip. Okay. Um. So let's save here. So... So, last time we did You're Late for Work, let's do an emergency phone call. Baby time. Hey, yo? That's the emergency? Your wife's calling. Sorry. Sorry, security guard. My wife's calling. It's baby making time right now. <laughs> She's ovulating right now. <laughs> Runs out the door. Guys, do you ever think it's, like, fucking crazy when you're, like, sitting at dinner with your family, your, like, extended family, and, like, the new, the new couple just straight up looks everyone in the eyes, and they just say, Yeah, we're trying really hard for a baby. You think, you think they realize they're telling everyone at the dinner table that they're just raw-dogging it every day, and they just told everyone at the table, like, you think people have shame anymore? It, no? Maybe not. <laughs> oh god oh god dear look i did not need to know that as soon as she comes in fake a call to yourself tell her that your wife has just gone into labor oh my god we're late asking for a friend no you don't think it's weird when people do that i think it's weird as fuck <laughs> even if she attempts to protest it makes complete sense for anyone to leave right away but once you're out of there, why were you at the why were you at the mall when your when your wife could have been in labor? <laughs> You'll probably still look su suspicious. Hell, what if she calls others on you? No, that's fine if she does. Cause, okay, okay, so this is the same. Okay, so we did hiding decorations, getting a new disguise. <laughs> Perfect. We Ovidius is a master at disguises, chat. Okay, he is a master of disguises. I'll go into whatever stores they have here and pick out a janitor's uniform. I've seen all the uniforms to be left place after place. Surely there's at least one here too. Bro is Agent 47, dude. I'll just keep my head down and pretend to mop. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, Vidius surely knows how to clean things up. He cleans the scene up real quick, okay? I'll just keep my head down and pretend to mop. All the way to the doors. But just making out the doors isn't enough either. I have to actually get away from the mall. If they're suspicious of me, there's no doubt they might follow me. If that happens, I'll have to get them off my tail. But that's the easiest part of this whole plan. All I need to do is... Okay, so we did leave. We we left the car, so this time we'll take a detour. <laughs> what? Take a detour down a few roads. I know of no I know of one no one ever takes because supposedly a ghost girl crawls into the back of your seat or something. Nice. That's a win. But I mean I like ghosts. Even if that's true, surely even a ghost would understand my situation. Reason with ghosts. Besides, I heard them say she only enters your car if you keep your windows open. I'll make sure mine are closed. And then, after that, all I have left to do is get home and I'll be safe. Nice. Okay, we're gonna skip. You guys the same. Last night, my family and I had been expecting someone who never showed up. We were wondering what was taking him so long when we received a letter. One of our other family members delivered it to us. But it was from the one who had who we but it was from the one we had been expecting. He said he was done with this and he was never coming back. And that someone inspired him to make a change. And well, that had something to do with you, didn't it? And what if it did? Yes, it did. That's what being a fireman is all about. I thought so. I must say, that's very kind of you. Oh, uh, thank you. But kindness will get you nowhere in this business. Uh, do you really believe you've helped anyone? Did you go into this line of work because you wanted to help people? Wait, well, yeah, I wanted to save some people from fires. That's so funny. You're soft. Just like the rest of that stupid Congress of yours. And that will be your downfall. Oh. Would you look at the time? So late. I really must be going. Ah, uh, but before I do, as a message from my family to yours, I assure you, we'll pay you back for what you did. Dude, why is the Canadian government so scary, dude? We're not like that. If anything, the American Congress is worse. Well, happy holidays to you too, I guess. Though, I guess I should take a sigh of relief. That could have been bad. I'll have to get better at my hiding myself and uh, looking less guilty, I guess. I'd like to think I'm normally pretty good at it, but... She caught me off guard. Twyla. Okay, I think we can skip. Yeah. No! 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 Okay, that was cool, though. Okay, so the last options. I didn't get to see the new apartment. <laughs> Poor Avidius. I didn't see his new apartment. Could have been amazing. <laughs> um, what did we pick? Excuse yourself to the bathroom. We didn't do that one yet. Yeah, that one. Okay. <laughs> This is like, this is how I call into work. Yep. If I call in, I don't call into work like ever. Like I've never, but if I have to call in chat. The foolproof call in. Chat, you want to know how to call into work? You're not actually sick. You know, your parents didn't die. Diarrhea. It's, it's foolproof every time. No one wants to talk to you. Trust me on that. You want to leave work quick? Tell them you shit your pants. Then just leave. Wh who's gonna stop you? Nobody. No one's gonna check. Who's gonna check? Your boss gonna just open your pants up? Take them off? No. If he does, you should. You have bigger problems to worry about, but... <laughs> as soon as she comes in, you're going to excuse yourself to the bathroom. You're going to destroy that bathroom and then leave. It's an emergency and you have to go right away. You'll be right back, but an emergency like this just can't wait. 
before she can answer yes or no, you'll run out of the room, promising to come right back. But once you're out of there, you'll probably still look suspicious. I love how Twyla's just like, what? Hell, what if she calls others on you? Okay, wait, skip. Okay, um, wait, 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 wait. So we did the, we, we didn't do using the train yet. There's a tiny train that rides around the mall. It's mostly for parents and their kids. But if I'm sitting in one of the cars when everyone gets on it, they'll assume I'm a part of the group. I'll look just like a child. They'll never know. How will they know? It picks up new passengers every 15 minutes or so, so I wouldn't have to wait very long. Plus, I doubt they'd be looking for me on the train. And I'll fit in with all the children. Then once it passes by an exit, I'll just hop off and leave. But, just making it out the doors isn't enough either. I have to actually get away from them all. If they're suspicious of me, there's no doubt they might follow me. If that happens, I'll have to get them off my tail. But that's the easiest part of this whole plan. All I need to do is... Drive into what? <laughs> it's the only option. I need to drive my car into the lake to avoid the security guard. I'll jump out right before it goes all over the edge. I've done it before, so I know it's easy. I really... <laughs> I really hope that he did this for such a small reason. I really hope the last time Avidius ditched his car was also for a very small reason. <laughs> of course, losing the car is less than ideal, but... Some things have to be done to ensure the safety of the organization. It's... it's worth it. And then, after that, all I have to do is get home and I'll be safe. Okay, I think we can skip. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's gonna work. Of course, I'll have to call Croven. Okay, okay. Excuse me, I. Okay. You just want to skip a little bit? No! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I just want to look at the apartment. Okay. I was trying to skip it to see if I could see the apartment one more time. But we did it. True. Thanks, Arcade Kitten. I like this one a lot. I might I might be a little biased, chat. I might like Avidius a lot. Um, <laughs> I just like all the characters from Cemetery Mary now. I feel a little attached. They're all really great. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed this. Uh, this was holiday shopping, by the way, and if you didn't know already, if you didn't listen to me, a word of what I said, this was a kind of, like, prequel, quotation marks, to Cemetery Mary, and, um, yeah, I just really liked the game, it was fun, uh, I hope you guys liked it too, if you want to see more Arcade Kitten games, I have links in the description to my Arcade Kitten games playlist, and I always have the links to the games themselves, so make sure you go try it out yourself and have some fun with that, okay? Try out all their games, honestly. They're really great, and support them over on Itch, and I think a couple of their games are on Steam, so definitely do that. Always help developers out. Um, thanks for watching, and if you want to help me out, please leave a like on the video, and consider subscribing if you aren't already, because... I want to bump up my numbers. We got to go big. We got to go crazy. <laughs> Not really, though. But I would appreciate it. And I'm sure you'll find more stuff you like on the channel. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Okay? Peace out. This has been Clock. <laughs> Holiday shopping. That was fun. I really liked... I really... By the way... Okay, YouTube too. I, I lied, not the ending of the video. I really like the options. I really like the little cards and the little... The crazy stories. I love like learning more about Avidius and how his like train of thought work his uh his his thought process is in these situations. I love to know what he thought in in Cemetery Mary. <laughs> and the funniest thing is that he's just yeah, train of thought. Did you like that one? Thank God someone laughed. <laughs> yeah, and it always works. Like 10 out of 10, Ovidius is literally Agent 47. He's he's literally amazing. He's literally the James Bond, man. I love it. I would love to know what his thought process was when he uh snuck in to save Mary too. Um He's off the rails. <laughs> uh I love it and I like the little I liked it a lot the the little message, you know, him putting up the lights in his house. I really like that, too. That was really sweet. Um, anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Cute little story. Go watch Cemetery Mary. Now! 
Um, we're going to be playing Blackout Hospital soon enough. Once I finish uploading Cemetery Mary, that's when we're going to get around to playing Blackout Hospital. Um, so yeah, thanks guys. See you for real this time. Peace.